Hello, and welcome to this dashboard walkthrough. This dashboard shows results recorded during the most recent anchor survey and will have results for any subsequent surveys conducted by Vocconic. Before we begin, depending on how you are viewing the dashboard, it may require you to set up your screen settings. To do this, all you have to do is go into your browser settings, find the zoom option, and zoom until you can see the dashboard correctly. We find on the laptop this is generally 80%, don't worry if this takes a bit of time to load, that's just the nature of the dashboard. You navigate the dashboard by using this left hand side panel and you can click on any of the options to take you to a specific part of the dashboard. The best way to navigate is work your way down. In this walkthrough, we will discuss the key elements you need to know to effectively use the dashboard. Now we'll talk about the home page, which you can navigate to by clicking in the top left corner up here on the home button. On the home page, you'll find a breakdown of things that participants identified as important to them in the survey and how Trellis is tracking on our key measures, such as trust and acceptance. If you want to know more about different aspects on this page, such as graphs, charts, or explanations, you can find more detail in our frequently asked questions page on the website. Every single image or graph you can see within the dashboard are interactive, and you can use your mouse to hover over them to see more detail that sits within the images and graphs. More to this later. Here we have the participant summary, which you can navigate to by clicking single survey and then participant summary. This page contains information that shows all of the people that participated in the survey and all of the demographic information that we retrieved from them. This demographic information can be used to filter responses within the dashboard, which we will show you how to do on the next page. Next, you'll see items like trust and acceptance, knowledge and information, contact, regulation and fairness, and so on. These are all topics that group questions in the survey that we ask participants, and each page will show how participants responded to different questions. Let's go to regulation and fairness to have a close look at the survey questions and how people responded. On this page, I'll also show you how to interact with the graphs. What I show you on this page, you can do to all of the other topic pages. Here you can see how participants responded to a survey question. Each of these graphs, which we call frequency distributions, show how people answered. Each color represents how participants responded and the different colors can be identified using the key down the bottom. You can zoom into one aspect of these categories, so if you only want to look at agreement and neutral, you can click these items and only show those responses, just like this. Okay, let's interact with a graph. Above the graphs, you have a little toggle bar up here, which has a bunch of different features which you can actually alter the graph with. This includes downloading the file as a PNG, which is just downloading as an image. You've got zoom in and zoom out, which does this to the graph. You've got auto scale and then resex axes, which takes it back to normal. If you wanna download any of these graphs for any purposes, you must correctly cite Voconic, the year you are using it and the web address you accessed it from to ensure you are complying with the appropriate copyright laws. We also mentioned previously that you can filter by using any of the demographic information found in the participant summary. To do this, all you need to do is click the explore by button up here and that shows all of your demographic information. Remember, if you make these filters too specific and there's less than 20 participants in that category, no data will show up for privacy purposes. And remember, when you're done filtering or you want to get the results back to everybody, just click reset filters down here and then apply filters to make sure you're viewing the dashboard in the way that you want to. All right, so now let's navigate down to the group means section by clicking here on group means. This section shows the average scores for each questions and you can break the average scores down by different demographics by clicking just below explore by up here, which shows all of the demographic information that we asked participants during the survey. You can also check any specific survey question that you want to by clicking here, which shows every single survey question that you want to explore the mean of. You can select multiple questions to see multiple questions next to each other and then compare what different demographics responded to different questions. Next, let's have a look at the current versus future means. 
This is a page comparing some of the questions we asked from the survey that talk about current explore, exploration activities versus the potential future mine. If you want to look at how response is compared to, go to this page and use the tools that we talked about in other pages to go into more detail. And the last item we have here is the word cloud, which you can navigate to by clicking comments and then summary. This shows all of the most used words that were communicated during the survey. The larger the word, the more times that it was used by participants of the survey. That is the end of the dashboard walkthrough. And if you have any more questions, please visit our frequently asked questions section on the website for more details, or feel free to contact us through the contact section. Thank you.